What's up, everyone? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. We have Zach's Roven Q29CC, what's well, called the Q Shorty. It's uh, all ready to go. We've got the outerwares on the uh, air filter and also on the um, pull start. Got to get one for the crankcase as well, but that'll be later on. We've also got on order the Killer B uh, kill switch, so that's coming as well. But this is the first time we run it. We've got also the Fly Sky, the new Fly Sky system here. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I've had the unboxing on my channel, so we've got that guy hooked up to it, ready to rock and roll. So, what we need to do, this is the first time starting. So, we need to prime the bulb. A little fuel. See so the carburetor here. Can you get your little hand in there, Zach, and prime that for me? Okay. Prime it until you see fuel coming in. Keep it going. Keep going. It takes a while because it's brand new. Keep going, here you go, keep going. Here you see it coming. More, more, more. You won't, you can't do any damage if you keep pushing it. So just keep going. There we go, you want to see the, the bubbles escaping here. You want no bubbles in those lines. All good, no bubbles? No, bubbles. Yep, keep going one more time. There we go. It's still bubbles. Oh, keep going. Oh. Professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll do. All right, you ready? Oh, that's all right, don't worry about the tiny bubble. All right, so what they recommend to start it, you don't need to, you can use a, you can use a clutch. Wanna hold this for me, please? All righty. You know, you can pull this, you can pull this a few times to, you know, to soften it through if you want. Or there's a little, you pull the, uh, the clutch, the clutch, <laughs> the choke down, and you should be ready. So what you can do, you can put the choke down, and when you hear it kind of want to click over for the first time, you put the choke back up and then give another yank. Oh, there we go. So, choke off. Let's see if it fires into life. <laughs> told you it was loud. <laughs> I told you it was loud. So All right, loud. now what we do, we're just going to do a few heat cycles, start it up, five minutes, let it run for a little bit, and then turn it off completely, let it cool down, and then we'll take it to the park and do the same thing. You know, run for a little bit, just slowly on, hopefully on some concrete, slow passes, uh, let it shut off, and then start it on again, and <laughs> happy days. All right, here to just a, a nice flat open area just to get it going. I ran it uh, before, let it cool down completely. So now I'm just going to start it up again and just kind of just gingerly go around here. I wasn't really going to make a video of this, but a lot of people requested it. So, you know, all good in the hood. It's already got fuel in there. Don't need to prime it as much. But uh, should be good to go. Now I'm holding the camera at the same time. <laughs> now, if this was in a uh, test the brakes, they work good now. <laughs> If I put this on gravel, I probably won't be able to tempt myself and like hold myself back and just floor it.
That's only about a third, no, not even a half bottle, not even. Exactly on the, on the controls, just a little bit, just so it gets going. That's it. What? Well, there we go. Look at that. The wheelie bar came off. So, I I didn't check that uh, that bolt. Oh, lucky I found all the parts. Yeah. So that was a. Uh, well, apart from the screw, uh, that bearing, that bearing just fell out. Locked tight of that. I've done a lot of everything else on the car, except for that part. There we go. So we're just going to keep doing this for a little while. I'm not going to bore you too much. It's a running in procedure, but. Uh, it's so loud with that pipe. That pipe is so loud. That's not even on full noise at all. <laughs> oh, I'll let me get another heat cycle, then I'll turn it back on. Okay, everything's turned back on. One thing it, it does do, it starts really nice too. Now, I did find the uh, wheelie, bill, wheelie bar part, but of course I didn't bring my Allen keys. Just giving a little bit more now. I'm not giving a full throttle. It's only half there. Half throttle. I'm just trying to, I'm looking in the viewfinder and controlling it, so. Oh, it's good to see a bit of gas on the channel. A lot of guys uh, was asking for it. Blue Cray's got a few as well. It's pretty much, oh, sorry, it's pretty much got all the uh, gas cars. Uh, if anyone wants to know, I'm running mut is a Mutol, Motol uh, oil. It is, well, I think one of the best or fully synthetic. There's, you know, big discussions what you can, can and can't use or what people recommend, but I've heard this is probably one of the best ones, so I just went with it. A little, probably a little bit, uh, bit more oil than normal just to run it in, but no biggie, probably like maybe 26 to 1 or something, or, yeah. Oh, sorry, which way does it go? Well, anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> I guess you want to keep it open at the same throttle all the time. <laughs> so loud, this thing. <laughs> goes on the wheel really easy too. Awesome. Okay, well, getting near the end of the tank. Rubbing out a little bit more and more. Sounding really nice. I've not touched any of the tuning on the carb or anything. Just bone stock. Okay. That wraps it up for this video. I think it's uh, running really good. Let me just turn it off. Okay, if you can hear me now, that wraps it up with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I wasn't really going to show you the first run in because, you know, people get a little bit boring. It's not going flat out, not jumping, not doing crazy 
stuff and all that kind of good good stuff. But uh, so far so good. It runs well. I'm really happy with it. Um, the only thing that went wrong was the wheelie bar because I didn't lock tight. That's probably the only part I didn't lock tight with these kind of cheaper kind of cars. Well, not cheaper, but you know, Chinese kind of cars. You want to make sure all the uh, bolts are lock tighted and all that kind of good stuff. But so far so good. If you're interested in this, leave the uh, the links in the description down below if you want uh, for more info about it. Um, yeah, my first gas car. Well, in a long time. Truth be told, I, when I think I was about 18, I think I had a Bergenzoni uh, Beetle. So that was gas, but that was whew, 18 years ago or something. So 37 now, so that was a long time ago. So back into it. A lot of you guys asked for it. So a gas car, 29cc, goes good. First tank. Uh, obviously, all of you gas guys, gas guys know that you know you don't go flat out from the first get-go, but uh, you don't want to be too soft on it either. So. First tank nearly, uh, happy with it. There'll be more videos later on, but uh, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified of all the good stuff. And also check out my Facebook page and Instagram. The links are in the, uh, in the description. Sometimes I put little teasers up there before I upload a video. So cheers guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.